Dude, you're a big guy. That's a loss of four, second and 14, but still at the plus side of the field there at the Camels 47. So Aguilar looks to line up in the shotgun, Connors to the left. Aguilar takes a snap, he looks to throw from the 45, dancing Pressure. the clock in trouble by Peterson, and Aguilar gets out, and they lose the quarterback. Aguilar is on his way, inside the 15 to the 10, and he is dragged down at the 5. Alonzo Aguilar with around a 40-yard run, and Thunder Mason is 5 yards away from taking the lead. So what a turnaround. Thunder Basin was down 24-7 to begin this half. And we are about to pass the halfway point of the third quarter. We now have six minutes left to go. As this could potentially be three touchdowns in just this quarter for Thunder Basin. Lining up in the eye. Aguilar lines up under center. And he's going to hand it off to Dylan Glenn, who gets it to the end zone. Touchdown! Thunder Basin! Touchdown Thunder Basin. So Aguilar lines up under center for the first time. Black was the tailback. As Black is going to kick the extra point with Johnny Fultz holding. And the kick is good. But it goes to Dylan Glick for the touchdown. What a turn of events here with Thunder Basin Stadium. Down 24 to 7. Results are 28-24 lead. So can Campbell County respond? We shall see when we come back on 93-3 The Legend. This Campbell County has not been able to get anything going offensively in the second half. Yeah, they had to have talked about something, made a halftime adjustment there in the locker room. So Drew takes the snap. He's going to fire this one in the coverage, and it's intercepted. It is going to better. He's running the other way, and that is going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Thunder Basic. Thunder Basin this season. So Aguilar lines up with the shotgun. Black is the running back, and Black is going to get the call to the right side and into the end zone. Touchdown, Thunder Basin. Another one in this corner alone. That is touchdown number one, ladies and gentlemen. And the Bulls are an extra point of play for the 42 to the 24 ball game. I said you can run the ball on this defense. I watched it last week. Kelly Walsh runs a lot of that that option, that um, that little pitch option, and, I, and they had to have seen that. They made the adjustment at halftime, and 35 straight points. And Black's extra point is good, so it does make it a 42 to 24 game. And boy, is it hard to believe that the score was 24 to seven to start the second half. It is now 42 to 24. As Sweet Caroline is playing, as we are going to go to a short break, and we will be back on 93.3 The Legend. Now the Camels will still have the upper hand on Thunder Basin and record no matter what happens tonight, but this is just a step forward for the Camels and getting back to 500. And... So Aguilar is going to hand it off to Lafron Boys, who's going to fire this one towards the end zone, and the pass is caught at the floor. Who came up to make that catch? As Lafron Boys with the throw there. And Johnny Fultz comes up with the catch, and the Bullets are going to be down at around the three. Yeah, they, they bring out the gadget play, as Thunder Basin does. Uh, the little uh, backwards pitch to left front boys. And that's his second, and that is his second throw of the season. That is his second throw and his second completion. So it's nice to have that kind of line, two for two, for quite a few yards, because his, 
His one in Rock Springs that he completed, I think, went for 34 yards. So say about 30 some yards. So Aguilar is going to line up in the shotgun. Khan is the running back. Aguilar is going to hand it off to Khan. He is looking towards the end zone, and he gets it up the right side. Touchdown, Thunder Basin. An extra point penalty would make it a 49 24 game. That is touchdown number six in this quarter for the Bulls. And they are fired up on the side. They've scored six touchdowns in ten minutes of play. That's that is crazy. There is exactly two minutes left to go on the clock. Good snap, good hold for the extra point for Nick Black, and he no misses it. So still a comfortable lead for Thunder Basin, but it is a 48-24 to 24 lead now for the Bolts. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Could that be the dagger to put this game on ice? as Thunder Basin is looking to remain undefeated against their crosstown rival. We'll be back on 93.3 The Legend.